to schedule a meeting right at the same time. And having a potty on board. She would be like... No TP or paper towels. Holy cow. And this is all happening basically as we were leaving. All events and activities are canceled. Social distancing. We got tattoos and tutus. It's just swimming all by itself. Shit you could never buy. No walk us up right. Reliable and affordable internet. <laughs> when I was working in disaster recovery. We need that one. Yeah. For parking, here is the GPS coordinates. We're still keeping our distance. We're ready to go. Before we continue with this video, Michelle and I just wanted to send out our prayers to you and your families. Um, let you know we're praying for you and your families during this difficult time. Uh, stay safe. Keep your distance from other people as much as possible. Practice that social distancing. Rewinding back two weeks ago, people weren't being as precautious back then. We had spring break going on, uh, a lot of kids at the beaches. Before we got flooded with comments, we thought we better stick this part in this video and let everybody know that we were practicing social distancing. Even though the video showed a lot of people, for the most part, we were uh, keeping our distance from people and uh, we do and still feel that it is very important to get outside, enjoy the fresh air, enjoy nature, just be smart about it and keep your distance from people. We hope you enjoy the video today and I'll quit talking. We're getting ready to take off here in Orlando. She's unable to help because they happen to schedule a meeting right at the same time. Got everything put together here. I hooked the dolly this time up to the car just because this place is so busy. They have a place up by the front by the clubhouse for people to disconnect and connect. I think we're about ready to take off here. A lot of people playing pickleball over there. Nope, you can go on in with your laptop and I'll take care of it. Shell's still on our meeting. We're ready to go? We're ready to go. Here we go. We're ready to go. I'm ready to go. That's one thing I love about these diesel coaches is how smooth they ride. As long as you're on a good road. The bad side of that is when you get a bad road, it, it really comes through, but otherwise they're so smooth. And one other thing that really helps, when you fill your fresh tank up, pretty full, 75% or above, I'd say, the more the better, the smoother it'll ride. Yeah. It's, it's a huge difference. It's so nice. We now fill our fresh tank up all the way every time before we leave, just because of the ride. And having a potty on board. Being self-contained and having a potty on board. So here, that's self-contained with the potty. <laughs> Very important. Some of the power lines on this route over here, kind of low. I look over at Michelle and she would be like, and I'd be like. No paper towels, no toilet paper. Something is completely empty. Not even any signs there. Plenty of wine left. Holy cow. Walmart, no paper towels, no paper. Publix, empty also. No TP or paper towels. They did have paper plates if you needed those, but we don't. We're all set up at our new place here. Got a pretty decent spot here. Well, one thing we noticed when we were leaving uh, the last Thousand Trails Park and coming here, Michelle noticed on the website that they were canceling all their activities and postponing. Any event that was had 10 or more people in the Thousand Trails Parks and campgrounds. Right, we got here and this is all happening basically as we were leaving the last place. As you can see here, all events and activities are canceled until further notice. And they have signs on all their doors. Social distancing. And this is what Michelle saw on the website. Usually you see people playing like bocce ball. We did see a few people at the pool yesterday. It's kind of an eerie feeling when you're used to everything. Yeah. Everybody being so active. It seems really strange. I'm liking this with Michelle driving. As long as you don't get Carson. Yeah. 
It's not good. We're supposed to be eating in. I know. One of our favorite burger joints. Right next to it, we literally could easily walk yeah. and get there in less than it's, five minutes. Yeah. They have a really good gluten-free bun that doesn't even taste gluten-free. It's like my favorite for sure. And of course, their frozen custard. Oh, oh gosh. Oh my yeah. gosh. Yeah, we could walk there and burn off the calories from the custard on the way back. But with all the groceries we just bought, we really need to be eating in. <sighs> Can't hear you. Life decisions. We can make it a little treat once in a while. That's, you know, moderation. Every other day? No. No? Once a week? What? I will have withdrawals. <laughs> and then, if you're thirsty, there's a Wawa next to us. Thirsty? I know, I'm just kidding. Wawa. Uh, Wawa. Wah, wah, wah. Bridge closed. Bridge closed. Bridge closed. So Daytona Beach doesn't really sound like something to get away from the, the crowd, no. but we thought, you know, we can get our own little area away from some people maybe. Biker week here. Spring break started today. We'll see just how crazy it is. Probably not as crazy as it normally is every year. Biker week. Biker week. Fifth wheel for sale. That's a toy hauling. So we're talking about the coronavirus and uh, staying away from crowds and uh, looks like we're doing a really good job of it today. <laughs> hey, we're in our car. We're gonna still try to find a parking place, get us a spot on the beach and hang out for a little bit, get some vitamin D. We got tattoos and tutus. <laughs> We're gonna pass on that bungee yeah, no, ride. Yeah. Ain't happening. We're just staying our distance away from people as much as we can. So I guess the point we're trying to make today is don't keep yourself inside. Be precautious. Wash your hands. If you've never washed your hands before, now is the time to do that. <laughs> Get outside, enjoy nature. You can still be in an area like this where there's tons of people, but you can still keep your distance. You can still have fun. Just be smart, enjoy life. And wash your hands. And wash your hands. Acting like there's no tomorrow Acting like there's no tomorrow Acting like there's no tomorrow Acting like this Acting like this This is a dirty beach, and therefore that kid is riding dirty. <laughs> I think you're just an ice cream magnet. <laughs> there was this little fish, and it was um, like about this long, and it was thin, um, light gray, but like almost see-through even. And I, just, I couldn't figure out what kind it was, but it was just swimming all by itself in the shallow part. There's a couple guys here with iguanas. Okay, cool, but there's just something odd about asking another guy if you can pet his iguana. <laughs> yeah, don't. How old is he? Well, not old. Two of our weekend, gonna watch a rocket launch. 
you're in the Florida area, just Google search uh, rocket launches at Kennedy Space Center. That's one thing we didn't realize until we came here and spent so much time here in Florida that they have rocket launches quite often. And uh, we actually were able to see one right here from Orlando off to a distance. We could see the trail. I'm kind of excited. I always wanted to see a rocket launch. It won't be up close. They don't let anybody get up really close, but it'll still be pretty neat to see. Right, sweetie? Yep. Let's go. Okay, let's go. We're ready to go. You too. Thank you. Hello. You have a good day too. Thank you. Not even two miles and we got another toll. Thank you. Another toll. <laughs> I think we've been about five miles this time at least. Money grabbers. Today's mission of the launch for SpaceX is a, the constellation of networked satellites known as Starlink. The goal of Starlink is to create a network that will help provide internet services to those who are not yet connected and to provide reliable and affordable internet across the globe. Oh. And for RVers? Yes. Really? They said that in there? No, it did not. I oh. made that up. Don't be making things up. <laughs> So the patrol officer asked if I had a military ID coming in here. People that do not have a military ID are going this way. And if you do, you're going that way. And it looks like if you have a military ID, you get to go down further to get closer maybe. We have to come down here to another parking area. You can see the NASA building way over there. All we gotta do is walk right across the road here. I'll explain where exactly we're at and uh, show you where the rocket launch is located in case you come here and there's a rocket launch in the same uh, uh, same area yeah the specific uh um, yeah there's multiple or whatever launch. right it looks straight across here this is where the shuttle will be launching a whole different animal and a whole different beast in that you know so much of its propellant is needed to get Orbit. As you can see, you can still keep yourself a uh, distance from the people, even though there's a lot of people around. Um, kind of do a 360 here so you can see how many people's around here. There's plenty of, plenty of area here. Hmm. There's still the uh, rocket sitting there. <laughs> Paddleboard. Bummer. Something was going wrong and they had to abort. So, looks like the, sh the rocket's not going to launch today. We were so close. Again, this is a replay down to three, two, one. You get a little bit of a poof. You get a come, coming out the side over here, but the rocket does not go anywhere. You see some puffs of venting out of the top there as well. Uh, that is not a launch. So now we're in a little town of Coco, not Coco Beach, but the town of Coco. I wanted to take Michelle down here because when I was working in disaster recovery, I was uh, working the public assistance side and did a job right here. It was after one of the hurricanes. Yeah, and I don't even remember what hurricane that was, but all of this riprap here, that's what they call the rock, this is riprap, was all gone. As you can see, it's all new concrete. It was all washed away. Embankment here was washed away. It's interesting coming here and seeing this. And nice to show Michelle. When we travel around the, the country some, I will mention some places that I've worked at when we've had to be away from each other. Not anymore. No. <laughs> now we travel together. I think that job made, a, made us both kind of want to do this even more so. All right, on to the next place. Where will we go next? Now we're parked here in the downtown little town of Coco. And uh, a cool little area, we'll show you around here a little bit. But as you can see, there's not very many people here at all. And this is a three hour parking area. It does not cost to park here. 
Michelle likes these kind of places, don't yes. you, Michelle? Right. Yeah. We got a little camper here. I found the sign we need. If at first you don't succeed, do it the way your wife told you to. We need that one. Yeah. Did you read this one, honey? Yeah. I love my wife. <laughs> Ice cream at the shop over there. Oh, for the love of Pete. <laughs> there are several stories that circulate among the Coco old timers as to how the town got its name. One story says the mail used to come by river boat and was placed in an empty tin box labeled Baker's Coco. They say the box was nailed to a piling in the river next to downtown. Additionally, an early hotel in the area located on the Indian River Lagoon was named Coco House. Tourists are attracted to the historic sites and local attractions, including here at the historic Coco Village. With Port Canaveral being so close, tourism is typically high in the downtown historic business district. Coco Village has shopping and two Golden Spoon award-winning restaurants and boutiques. He was not moving for that car. Oh, he's coming back. He's going to do it again. So here we are at Cocoa Beach. There was a line on both ends of the street that it was just crazy yeah. with traffic. And they were charging $20 to get into the parking area there. We were trying to find another spot. We went to another GPS location and it was full. And then we just happened to run into this that was not on Google Maps. It doesn't have very many spots, but this is it. See, there's beach access right here. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Well, when we went down to the pier to try to get in down there, there it is off to the distance. So you could actually come here and park for free and just walk down there if that is where you want to go. But this is a lot more private. But yeah, this is much more private. And if you're trying to avoid the Crap. masses <laughs> and crowds during a flu season, like now with the coronavirus going on, this is a perfect spot. Whenever I'm with you, I am all right. There's something about the way you make me feel inside. I'm counting down the days till we fly away. Edging to the sun, only you and me. I don't wanna waste another day being stuck here in this place. No. name is Ivan. And very talented. <laughs> yeah, very talented, obviously. So when they go crossways this way, 
That's called skimming. Ah. And when they go out into a wave and turn around and come back, that's called, I believe he said, and hopefully I'll make a comment if I'm wrong, cupping. All right? <laughs> cupping. Beach kill. Beach kill. Beach kill. We're still keeping our distance. Gotta love it. A couple guys, I would say. Late 60s, maybe yeah. early 70s. And boarding. That's awesome. That's awesome. We'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe and help us out. That'll help YouTube get our videos out to more people. Every time you like a video, give it a thumbs up, make comments. If we have anything that helps anybody, that'll just help it get to those other people as well. It's time to call it a day. Let's call it a day. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, click that little bell, and hit that thumbs up. See you next week.